Simply press new to install a new virtual machine. For the name, enter fog server. Specify virtual machine location. My ISO is on the desktop, so I'll choose that one to boot from. Unattended install I would leave as default. The same goes for hardware in this example. Under hard disk, you will see the path to the virtual disk image. I'll leave the size at 25 gigs. Let's uh, start the machine and begin installing Ubuntu server. Press this one. I forgot to adjust the network setting, so I'll just do it on the fly. Go to settings and choose network. Change it to bridge adapter to get access to the local network. Let's go through the installation wizard. Choose your language. Choose keyboard layout for me, Norwegian as usual. Next is install type, leave this as is, Ubuntu server. Network looks fine. Enter a proxy address if needed. Under storage, I'm using the entire disk for this example. Type in the profile setup as you want. Just skip the Ubuntu Pro upgrade option. Check install open SSH server for SSH access later. Just skip the featured server snaps. Let the magic or logic begin. Now it is done installing the operating system, let's reboot the machine and access it through SSH next. Open terminal or putty if you are on a Windows system to access the server through SSH. Use the credential used in the setup process. Now we can start installing fog server with the preferred method of getting fog via git. Type sudo space hyphen i to get root access. Type in this to install git. Change directory to root. Type in git clone and copy and paste in the URL after. The link is in the description. The system will now clone the repository from git. Navigate into where you clone the git repo, cd root fog project, type git fetch all to get the latest features and updates. Get all the new features with dev branch. Enter the bin folder, then run the installer. Choose your Linux version. Here I'll choose normal installation since it is the master node. I'll leave the network as default. Set a router address for the DHCP server. This is very handy if the DHCP server is different from the gateway. In this example, the router and the DHCP is the same. Yes, the DHCP will handle DNS. Specify your DNS server. Here it is the same as the gateway. I'll choose no here because I already have a DHCP service. Add additional language if needed. I'll choose no here. And I would not like to change the host name. I'll choose no here because this is just an example. And we are ready to install. Type yes and the process will start.
it is done installing. So let's open up a web browser to install and update the database scheme. Copy the URL and paste it into the browser and press the install update button. When it is done, return to SSH and press enter to install the rest. It is done installing. Let's log into the web server. In order to get the external DHCP server to let clients know where the FOG server is located, add the server IP address and file name under DHCP network boot on the DHCP server system. This may vary on different systems. File name is in the description. Now let's do a test on our new virtual machine using just network as only boot option. And as you can see, it boots directly to the Fox server. Perfect. Thank you for watching.